Oh man, hopefully you brought a bottle of water and some sunscreen because it is 95 degrees with a heat index of about 105 here at round 5 of the AMA District 17 GP series at Byron MX. Now this heat played a huge role in the turnout. In the 12 to 29 C class, only 4 riders. The lowest turnout so far this year which is kind of understandable because it's so hot and people probably don't want to get fried. But yeah, when I found out there's only four riders, I was shocked and kind of disappointed. But four riders means we're in a 20 point distribution. So all four of us are going to get good points given all four riders in the C class are going for points. Now we're racing with a 30 plus C and they too only have four riders. So eight riders total for our moto and yeah. So we're going to be starting on the same line here. Let's get into the start. So I think last race at Tri-City I pushed my luck a little too much with the dead engine start. Today, I didn't get as lucky, so I'm starting dead last off the line. I think it took three kicks to get off and rolling, but I wasn't really expecting the flag to fly so quickly. But anyways, we're starting on the MX section here, and Byron has an amazing MX track. This is some fun stuff, and getting more comfortable with it, this place would be awesome. Oh my god is right. Uh, so yeah, I made a mistake right here. So go to season one and watch the uh, new Hartford hair scramble race. I made the same mistake and I believe I said I would never make that mistake again. I forgot to turn on my gas. So yeah, I am pretty much in the dust right now dead last riding by myself so um yeah this is pretty much just going to be looking at the trails for the first lap at least um but that's good enough for me because these trails were so freaking awesome this was by far the best track this year in my opinion or at least so far it was open fast and fun and motocross it had the trails and it had grass track sections which is where we are going right now but just there's so many different lines that you can choose and if we had a bigger turnout for the c-class i am just trying to imagine the awesome battles that everyone would be having so it sucks that the weather was just so hot but I mean, I'm comparing this race to Kiesberg, the first race I did this year, and nothing could be worse than the conditions for that race. Um, it's not icy, it's not muddy like most of the races have been this year, and let's appreciate me completely blowing that corner, <laughs> but um, the, the conditions are pretty good given the circumstances. Yeah, it's hot, but... It could be a lot worse. So yeah, we're in the grass track section now. On to actually talking about the track. And you can really get going here. Uh, there's a couple of kickers that you have to be aware of. But um, the trail got pretty groomed in after practice. So uh, nothing was like too dangerous necessarily. Um, but if you weren't paying attention, then yeah, you might be going over the bars. And then we're moving into a really, really open part of the woods, like really open. Um, and now we're still in a somewhat open part of the woods, but we're uh, just over halfway through a lap. And these trails just, they flow so good.
So, I think it was on Wednesday, before the race, so, j real similar to Tri-City a couple of weeks ago, um, the Wednesday before the race, it rained, and I don't know how much they got, but the trails with the heat turned out amazing. So it's not muddy by any means. It's tacky more or less. This is the muddiest spot right here. So we were supposed to go down that creek section, but in practice it just turned into chaos and people were getting stuck and it was so rutted. Um, so we're just crossing it rather than going down the creek. Uh, but yeah, this is the muddiest spot and it's not really muddy. It's tacky more or less. Um, I got my gearing wrong when I was going up the hill. I was in second gear and I should have been in first gear. Uh, there were a lot of ruts and rocks and everything. Uh, so that was a mental note I made for the rest of the race. So now we come back to the MX section and we're done with lap one. So we are doing three laps today. Not four, not five, three. Uh, they wanted us to be out there for about 20 minutes, if not just a little bit less. Because of the heat, uh, they were trying to get through the motos uh, fast. Lab 2, really nothing happens. I'm still in the back of the pack. Um, I said it in the last video, you do not want to be in the back on the GPs, especially in a three lap race. And these are quick laps. Uh, this is a pretty short track um, and, and it's fast. So being in the back, you don't really have much time to catch up. Um, so yeah pretty much just riding by myself but like I said only four people in our class no matter what position I get I'm gonna get somewhat decent points today so it's kind of a a point reaccumulation day I don't know if that's the right wording but um, there have been well pretty much every race there have been a lot of one day riders that uh, go to just have fun and that kind of uh, spices up the points a little bit because you're awarded the points based on the position you get in the race, not the position you get compared to other points riders. So, um, yeah, today kind of getting back all the points that were not necessarily taken away by day riders, but um, you know what I mean. So, last lap, uh, one suggestion I would have for future races or future GPs here is um, waving the white flag because they had us do votes on how many laps we wanted to do. Uh, it was either two laps or three laps and for Moto 1 we voted to do three laps but um, having the white flag just as reassurance would be nice. Um, so then you know for a fact you're on your last lap and you can kind of give a little bit more than you would uh, if it wasn't the last lap because the last lap you only have so much time one lap in order to catch up to the person in front of you but enough of that rant I guess uh, just a suggestion it, it's always nice but if it can't happen then it can't happen so lap three uh, again just riding trails by myself pretty much uh, so the guy that was closest to me is finishing right now uh, so I kind of caught up but not enough for any excitement to happen so with Moto1 uh, finished fourth of four and yeah so time to drink some waters drink some Gatorades rest up a little bit and cool down for Moto2. See you then.